getting started with Excel. When you first enter Excel, you enter into a blank sheet, which looks very familiar to those who have had experience with a spreadsheet program before. But this is just a blank spreadsheet within a workbook. And just going to point out some different things on this particular sheet. Here you have a row, and you see they're distinguished by numbers, and your columns are actually distinguished by letters. And here you have your actual reference box or your name box to let you know where your cursor is. Right now I'm located in A1. Now I'm in B1. Also here is your sheet identifier. You can actually have multiple sheets within your workbook. And in the standard one when you open the program you actually have three. Quickly I'm just going to show you that you can actually change the name of your particular tabs or your sheets by just double clicking and entering in whatever information you want to call it. You can also right click on one particular tab and you can actually change your tab color. If you choose red now you can see that that tab is actually edged in red to distinguish that tab from another. You can also change the order of your tabs by clicking and dragging to where you would like to have your page and now you can see that it's actually changed to the second position. Or you can right click and actually delete a sheet altogether. The button here is where you can actually insert a worksheet. You can also do the same thing with your columns or your rows. If you actually click and right click you can actually choose to delete one. But just to give a quick example for those that don't have much experience, you may want to also work with templates. Here's a calendar template that I've used before. You would hit download and it, once it is, it's downloaded on your screen. Once you're in here, you can actually come in and alter the information. For example, we're going to talk about the autocomplete and the autofill functions. Since the numbers are consecutive, a user could actually come in and highlight this particular row here. And you could use the autofill function. And since the first numbers are consecutive, and you, if you were to do autofill, it would fill out the rest of these numbers for you by increasing the step up by one. 